Hello, hello, super impromptu video. Wasn't even planning on making a video, but here I am at the end of a one week, 2,500 mile road trip with my family of four and my dog here in this America, Cruise America standard RV, 25 foot. And I gotta tell you, it was a great time. Overall, this RV, in fact, it's a 2022 model and I had the uh, the option, or no, I had the, the honor, the honor of taking this 2022 from 9,000 and crossing it into 10,000 miles with this USB adaptable plugs and also I just wanted to take a couple minutes here to walk you through this because I know when I was getting ready to take out this Cruise America RV I was looking for instruction videos everywhere it was my first time ever getting an RV so I want to help you out because it'll help me out right for next time so I'm gonna walk you through a couple very important pieces here so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the buttons here on your screen. Battery button, you wanna see that full all the time. Fresh water, if you're gonna use your water reserve, making sure that's full and you can fill it up when it's empty. Your black water right here, that is gonna be your sewer. You want it empty or at least, you know, until you use it. Gray water, that's your showers and your sinks. And of course, that will tell you the status as well. This is where you're gonna turn on your water pump if you want water power. Here's how you turn your water heater on. I recommend about 10 minutes prior so that, that propane can go ahead and heat up your uh, water for you in your showers and your sinks. And this is gonna be your generator right here. The new models have USB plugs, super exciting. I thought I was gonna need an auxiliary adapter looking at some of the older videos, but even up here in front, you're gonna see that there is a USB plug for you to uh, plug your phone into, which is great because you get all your streaming radio music as you're cruising through America's beautiful scenery. Now, as far as the connections in the back, of course, it's your table. The best way to get this table converted is just you lift up on that real hard, real quick. Give it a good push up. You won't break nothing. This pull comes out. It, uh, it, it removes itself from the floor and the table. You lower it down to that lower little hook down there, little shelf down there. By lifting this thing, kind of come up with a, with a, a lever. It kind of moves on down flat. After you've gone ahead and removed these cushions, of course. And then you can store it right down here in the side in this little pole storage container spot, super convenient. But again, you just push up on that real fast. It dislodges this pull from the table. You take it out, it's all good. Make sure you have these pads removed before you do that. And then this thing will go right on in and hook in that lower level there to form this, of course, bed here in the RV. The pad right there goes over this little cove. So of course that makes it a nice long uh, queen size of bed. Full refrigerator, this is the newer model. When we got it, the lady did not know how to turn it on. So let me show you. Of course, you have the power button, the mode button. It will use propane while you're driving unless you have your generator on. But if you have it on the A with the little drip symbol, that will be the gas, the propane. Once you hook up at a campsite, it will automatically switch to your electric, to your plug-in. But to check that, just hit mode. You should see a little socket plug. That'll tell you you're on electric. The light should be right here. It should be green. If it's green, it's cooking. It's doing good. It's cooling things off. And of course, this little thermometer button here, it's, it'll show stars or asterisk looking things, snowflakes maybe. I put it all the way to the top to keep that nice cold. It kept my waters very cold. Kept my waters frozen, in fact, in the freezer. Kept all our food uh, perfect for our, our week-long trip. And of course, here you just have this nice refrigerator that you can use. Of course, pretty good size freezer, I might add, as well. Now, this, this, this gas grill, it's amazing. It's an actual good grill burner. I know in some of the older videos I saw it was flat, smaller grill, so it's a nice grill. Three burner grill here, microwave. You have a hood light and, of course, fan with a big sink. You have your area over here, your vanity area, along with your bathroom, of course, and your shower inside there. Don't plan on having a lot of room to move around in there, but hey, you're camping, right? What's the big deal? You have your air conditioner up here. This is always used when we did our, um, our plug-in at the campsite. So I just went right up here. And you turn to what you would want off or high cool or low cool, wherever you might want. And of course, you can adjust the, the temperature right up there. But it's a really good air conditioner. worked really well. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look at the outside. I know for first-time RVers like myself, it can be very uh, nerve-wracking, right? But you have your, you have your big, big, big uh, space back here. Really nice. You can hook it up and lock it. I'm not going to waste time unhooking these things. Very simple. You have back access to your storage as well. Down here is where you have your sewer hookups in the back. You want to hook this thing real fast. It really, I, I know that it can be very intimidating to do sewer for the first time, but sewer simple. You have a black lever and a gray lever. The black lever is the sewer. 
The gray level lever is your shower and your sinks. My recommendation is of course you take out this hose that's in there. You, you take it out, this black end right here hooks into the under end down there. Of course, the other end goes into the sewer at your campsites. I would recommend doing the black lever first, as that is your sewer. Close it back up when it's all empty, and then pour the gray lever, of course, at your dirty water, which will allow it to kind of clean out the hose on its way out. So it's really nice to kind of give it a good wash there at the end. Of course, that is your sewer hookup. Super simple. Believe me, my first time. Over here, you have your shoreline, which is going to be your power. So you have a plug right in there. Whenever you get to your campsite, you unplug that plug. You plug it right into your power. It's a 30 amp plug. And then right over here is where we had our, our gas unleaded fuel. And of course, we have right here we have our city water hookup. So you would just unplug this, plug in one end of the hose into that, put the other end into the city water hookup at your camp, and you are good to go on that. One last spot right over here that I want to make sure that I point out. Sorry, I'm cleaning the van. I literally just got home. It's right up here in the front. Oh. That little compartment right here is your propane. It's on the passenger front side. You open that up, it'll have your propane tank in there so you can get make sure that's full and ready to go for all the, the heating needs that you might have. This is a fast tutorial, but I wanted to get it on here just before I return this thing back to its or origin here at my, in my neighborhood. So hopefully this helped. Got a little perspective on this video. It's quick. I want to make it easy. Please rewind it, refresh it, share it, whatever you might need to do. Thank you so much. Happy traveling. If I can do it, you can do it.